Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Tuesday the 7th of March. I'm Reverend Nicole from the Parish of Cessnock. It's a privilege to pray with you this evening. If you're following along in your prayer book, our service begins on page 399. Tonight we'll read a portion of Psalm 119, beginning on page 349. And our reading from Scripture is a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. As we begin our evening prayer, we acknowledge the ongoing custodianship of the First Nations people who first walked the land on which our diocese meets and ministers and worships. We pay our respects to the Awabakal, Biripai, Darkinyon, Garigal, Giwagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. To their elders, past, present and emerging. We commit ourselves to working for reconciliation and to caring for all in God's creation. Let us pray together. I sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I invite you to say with me the opening canticle, the song of the three. Blessed are you, the God of our forebears, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed is your holy and glorious name, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you, glorious in your holy temple, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you who behold the depths, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you in the heights of heaven, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 119, beginning at verse 1 on page 349. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his commands and seek him with their whole heart. Those who do no wrong, but walk in the ways of our God. For you, Lord, have commanded us to persevere in all your precepts. If only my ways were unerring towards the keeping of your statutes, then I should not be ashamed when I looked on all your commandments. I will praise you with sincerity of heart as I learn your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. O oh, forsake me not utterly. How shall the young keep their path pure unless they hold to your word. I have sought you with my whole heart. Let me not stray from your commandments. I have treasured your words in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, Lord God. O oh, teach me your statutes. With my lips I have been telling all the judgments of your mouth. And I find more joy in the way of your commands than in all manner of riches. I will meditate on your precepts and give heed to your ways. For my delight is wholly in your statutes and I will not forget your word. God of grace, we thank you for all your gifts to us. Grant us to accept both pain and joy in faith and hope and never to fail in love to you or to our sisters and brothers. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our reading is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 7, beginning at verse 26. For it was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, blameless, undefiled, separated from sinners and exalted above the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifices day after day, 
first for his own sins and then for those of the people. This he did once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints as high priests those who are subject to weakness. But the word of the oath, which came later than the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. Now the main point in what we are saying is this. We have such a high priest, one who is seated at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, a minister in a sanctuary in the true tent, that of the Lord, and not any mortal has set up. For every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Hence it is necessary for this priest also to have something to offer. Now, if he were on the earth, he would not be a priest at all, since there are priests who offer gifts according to the law. They offer worship in a sanctuary that is a sketch and shadow of the heavenly one. For Moses, when he was set, when he was about to erect the tent, was warned, See that you make everything according to the pattern that was shown you on the mountain. But Jesus has now obtained a more excellent ministry, and to that degree he is a mediator of a better covenant, which has been enacted, enacted through better promises. Let us take a moment to reflect on our readings. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. I invite you to say with me the canticle, the song of Simeon. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Remember, O Lord, what you have wrought in us and not what we deserve. And as you have called us to your service, make us worthy of our calling through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the day that has been and for the people that we've spent our time with. We pray for your world and for your church. We pray for people who are in authority and have the responsibility to make decisions on behalf of others. and pray they may be inspired by you so that all decisions are made for the benefit of all people. We pray for peace in our world. We pray for peace between nations, for peace in communities and for peace in our homes. We pray for all people who have been devastated by a natural disaster. For Turkey and Syria and the people there. And for New Zealand and the people there. We give thanks for those who come to the aid of others to help search, to help clean up, to help rebuild. We pray your blessings upon our efforts to help one another. We pray for those who leave their own homes to find new homes and new lands and pray for a right response as people seek to begin new lives in safer places. We pray for those who live in the shadow of war and oppression those who are hungry and homeless. 
We pray for your church throughout the world and we give you thanks for the freedoms that we enjoy to pray to you and to be in relationship with you, to worship you. We pray for the church where it is persecuted and ignored and pray that um, through the faithful people in those places your light would shine out into the world. We pray for our church and for our diocese, for bishops Peter, Sonia and Charlie and for all who support them in their ministry. We pray for the ministries of our diocese, for Anglican care and Samaritans, for our schools and for our parishes. We pray particularly tonight for the parishes of Toronto, Wingham, Windale and Woi Woi. We pray for chaplains to police and defence force and for the Anglican Men's Society. We pray too for all who we know who are sick in body, mind or spirit and in need of your healing. We pray your healing hand upon them. As we hold the people we know, we pray for those known only to you. We pray for families who grieve, for those who grieve the loss of a loved one, the loss of independence, the loss of financial security, and the loss of homes. We offer to you all that has been part of our day and ask that you would hold it for us. We pray that you have been pleased with all that we have done and said in your name. We bring our prayers to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest on your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Jesus, the Lord of peace, give us peace at all times and in all ways. Amen. And may God's blessings rest gently upon you this evening. God bless.